a sharp craft knife, a lump hammer. Roughly lay out the components for the wooden frame. Measure the timber and mark out the positions for the shorter cross bearers. These should be evenly spread between the larger bearers. Pre-drill along the beam where you've just marked. Check your instructions for the number of screws that you'll need as it may vary between shed sizes. Now screw the framework together with the 90mm screws provided. Move your base to where you want your shed to stand. Using a spirit level, find the highest corner of the finished framework. With the lump hammer, drive one of the metal stakes into the ground at this point. Once the top of the stake is below the top of the wooden framework, pre-drill and fix the two together with the 50mm screws provided. Using a spirit level, keep the base level and drive the remaining stakes into the ground in the positions identified in the instructions. Your base is ready, so now you can get on with building your shed. Before you start, check through your instructions and familiarise yourself with all your shed components. Position your shed floor onto the wooden base. Although not essential, we would recommend fixing the floor to the base with 100mm galvanised screws. Firstly, if the doors of your shed are not pre-hung, put the door end on the ground face upwards. Locate the doors and fix them with the hinges and screws provided, making sure the barrels of the hinge are on the outside face. Pre-drill three pilot holes at the top, middle and bottom through the two side frames of each of the side panels. Lift the back panel of the shed into place and offer up one side panel to meet it. Screw these two panels together through the pilot holes in the framing and fix with 50mm countersunk screws provided. Don't fix them to the floor just yet. Prop these two sections up so that they will stand on their own temporarily and then attach the remaining sections in the same way. Once all four sides of the shed are in place, pre-drill holes through the bottom frames right through to the floor bearers which run along the full length of the shed. Fix the shed framework to the base using 50mm screws. Now you're ready to start on the roof. Take one roof section and attach a batten with evenly spaced nails. There may be different lengths of roof battens, so check the instructions and make sure you select the right one. Attach the second batten to the other side, ensuring it's offset from the edge. This distance may vary depending on the size of the shed being built. Check the instructions to find out the exact distance. Now, repeat this process with the other roof panel. Take the two shorter roof battens and fix the Z brackets to each end with 35mm screws. Take these battens and fix them to each gable end about halfway between the ridge and eaves, checking the exact location in the instructions. Take one of the roof sections and lift it into place, locating the offset batten into the notches in the top of each gable end. Fix them to the sides and gable ends with 30mm nails. Lift the second roof panel into place and fix it in exactly the same way. Roll out the roofing felt and cut it into three equal lengths using a sharp craft knife. Lay the first piece along one of the roof sections with an equal overhang at both ends and about 40 millimeters overlap at the eaves. Put a small tack through the felt at the top to hold it in place. Secure the felt along the eaves with felt tacks at about 150mm intervals. Do the same on the other side of the roof. Now, lay the third length along the ridge of the shed with equal overlaps at the gable and on each side. Fix it into place over the top of the other two strips with the tacks. Tidy up the corners around the edge by folding and tacking where necessary. Make a small slit in the felt at the apex and fold down and tack on either side. Do the same at the back of the shed. Attach the barge boards to each gable end with the nails provided. Trim off any excess felt. Attach the corner cover strips into place with the nails provided. 
Now you can put the window in. Take the plastic Z strip and put it in place on the ledge of the window. Take the window glazing and slide it into position. Fix the beading around the window using 25mm glazing pins. Lightly score around the window and remove the protective film from the glazing. Finally, fix the door fastener or bolt for the door.